y'all i just have trouble with voiceovers i have trouble with talking to the camera but anyway <laughs> my name is jordan if you're new to this channel um if you're not new welcome back we have um i guess i'll say it's a part two of my vlog from last week so go was it last week i don't know either way my very last vlog okay this is in continuance of that so go check it out if you haven't i'll have it up in the cards i will also make sure that i link it down below this is just me stretching my hair before i start parting my hair again for my second set of locks i noticed that when i was parting my hair my wet hair to do my first set of locks it was very difficult to get the parts exactly how i wanted them so i thought it might be easier if i part my hair on stretched hair so that's just what i'm doing not really going to talk to you guys this is really a vlog um half vlog half not but subscribe to this channel if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and all the time links are down below if you get bored watching videos just like i do so thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to y'all at the end all right y'all so um i put the braids in my hair and i'm gonna insert a little clip to show you what my hands were looking like. Oh my goodness. Like I didn't realize that that charcoal was not as rinsed out as I thought it was. So as I was braiding my hair, like that charcoal was all over my hands. It was actually really gross. Like it irritated me because I was like, dang, I didn't think it was that much charcoal, even though like when I poured it and it accidentally like all spilled in there. I've noticed that like when that happened to me before, I would try and take all the, you know, excess charcoal out. I didn't do that this time, so it got all over, like it, it was just a mess. Um, so I realized that it just was not going to come out, but I was not about to wash my hair again. So I braided my hair up and then I literally kept my, I kept my braids in. And I put the shampoo on and I just, ch -ch 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 -ch, you know what I mean? Did a little wash and rinse. But yeah, if you're going to use activated charcoal in your little mix, be careful. Don't put too much. Ooh, and now my scalp is just, see, I didn't want my, I didn't want, I didn't want my hair to get all dry and whatnot. But anyways, it's all right. As y'all see. I got the Cleo braids, the jailhouse braids, the straight backs. Oh, look at that hang time. Look at my hang time. So I'm just taking some oil. It's just a mix of like all my favorite oils. If y'all want to see how I do that, I can show ya. What? No. Okay. Let me talk to y'all real quick before I get distracted. Um. And I have been distracted. Literally just one. I'm only going to use shea butter. That's all I'm going to use in my hair. And some oil. But like no grease. No gel. No pomades, no beeswax, none, I ain't use none of that. I've noticed also my hair is very like fine. I think that's the word that I'm looking for. When I take all my hair down and wet it, it shrinks up, it gets real, you know, poofy, real big, real voluminous. Okay, ow. But as soon as I braid it or stretch it in any type of way or like pull it apart my parts are very like you can definitely see my scalp and the hair is is not that thick so i think it's called like low density i have like low density hair or something like that no 
I'm gonna just have to have charcoal in in my twist. I don't care at this point. Is is good for your teeth? It might be good for your hair too, right? Yeah. It's just gonna have to because I I'm over this. Maybe I won't choose because I'm gonna change into a uh, like a white shirt. Because I still have charcoal on my hair. I'm not gonna do that and ruin the white shirt. So actually, there's a shirt that I definitely can change into that I don't care about. I'm not checking to wash. But look, no, it touches the beautiful. Y'all see where my fingers at? Hold on. Hold on. Let's try this right here. This is my favorite. Ow, 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 ow. My favorite part to measure right above the ear. Come on, baby, why are you doing that? Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Not that big old single strand knot. Y'all, my hair is like super sensitive now. Like combing out my locks was kind of painful. Like I was as as gentle as I could be, but also like some some of them you just had to, you know what I mean? But I learned, I learned that when you're combing it, wherever you can, like hold it at the top and comb down and like pull against it like when i was down here i would like pull up instead of pulling the comb down if that makes any sense like that hurt way less than trying to like you know have the comb and just yank your hair like you would definitely lose some hair like that but wow look at the, this is this is at the top of black that's crazy look at that No, nah, I'm putting my locks back in because once I get them on a good little routine, they gonna go crazy. They gonna go crazy, honey. Let me show y'all. Look. Look at that. Look at th Obviously, I'm doing something right because, baby, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. My hair is still longer on the left side than it is the right side, but baby, it ain't that much of a difference now. This is, this is to the flesh now, to the fleshy part. This is not chest no more, period. And let me show y'all, cause I like to look above my, I like to look at the hair above my ears, like right in this little area. So, these, baby, look at that. Uh, it's past my collarbone now. My mind is set. I'm starting them over. What y'all think? Look good. Don't lie to me now. Look, I look good. Why not? And then also, I've noticed that my my hair is kind of I don't want to say thin, but like it's pretty fine. So, um, my locks are not gonna get that thick, anyways. Oh. Y'all. My head is just so tender. So, I have a right and I have a left. As you can see, right, this one's my right, this one's my left. I'm gonna put the right over the left. And then twist a little bit. And then I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna let it go. And then I'm gonna try and twist it as if I was retwisting. And it's getting tighter. So that means that I did it the right way. Alright, y'all, so 
Thought I'd come back real quick. I think, yeah, this is just going to be a vlog. And I will not be posting how to do C parts. Because it's really, I don't know, it's kind of hard. Like, I'll, I'll try to position my camera. We'll see, but... Mm -hmm. Ooh, come on, curls. Look at my little curl friends. Hey. They're so cute. Anyways, what I've been doing is parting my hair. Um, you know, in its stretch state because it's so much easier that way. And then wetting my hair. I had to think about it. <laughs> and then wetting my hair and then taking a little, you know, small thing of shampoo, pump of shampoo in my hand. You see all this charcoal? Disgusting. And, you know, rinse, uh, washing it out of my hair. Yep, now that all the little charcoal is out, I'm gonna take this shea butter, this whipped shea butter, like this much or a little bit more, and I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna rub it in first into my hand, and get it a little bit melted, and then put that all on my, my little section. I'm going to split my hair in two. Can y'all see me? Try to make sure that they're both the same size. Or I'm going to put the left on top. And just start twisting. Nothing special. Exactly the same way I did it the first time. Except for I'm making sure that I'm going the same direction this time and uh, making my parts exactly how I want them which is why it's taking me so long but I want to do it right this time I want to do it right this time and then I'm just boop doing one of these at the end so it looks like this <laughs> look at that <gasps> This is all I got done last night. And the parts are not perfect, but they are roughly the same size. And that's what I was going for. I don't want them to be one big one and one, that's a big one. One small one and one big one. Like that was throwing me off. So yeah, I just wanted them to be fairly larger just because i think 72 locks was just too many y'all know how i had to like wash my hair wash each individual twist oh that was that was irritating wasn't it yes it was so what i did was once i finished my last twist of the night and i was like i'm tired i can't do this no more I took this whole section of hair and I shampooed it mm -hmm. and I put some shea butter some whipped shea butter in my hair after I dried it and I just sectioned it off and braided it up so that way I don't have to do that anymore you know that was kind of stupid so I guess it's more of a C shape that I'm going for rather than a fan because a fan would be like the first part that I did. And this is more like a C shape. Y'all see that? 
But this is exactly what I'm going for. This right here. I'm done. I'm done. It's, I already said it's Friday. And honestly, the only thing I wanted was for them to be bigger and to not be so different in sizes. This one, oh Lord. This one I think is like the biggest one part wise right here in the middle because like when you're doing the fan parts like you always have like some that are going to be a little irregular you know what I mean. The 15th is now my new mark date so February 15th is when I will be filming my one month update <laughs> instead of filming my six month update February 24th is what it would have been. Thank you guys so much for the support. Um, follow me on IG as well. Uh, DM me, let me know if you have any video requests. We're at 450 subscribers now. 450. Come on now, yes.
I love to see it. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna really take you guys on my lock journey this time. I'm not gonna hold on to this video for three and a half months. I promise. <laughs> this will be up fairly soon, okay? So, also, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want monthly check-ins on my locks or if you want um, quarterly check-ins. So, let me know if you want me to do a one-month update, two-month update, etc. Or if you want me to do a three-month update, six-month update, nine-month update, and a year. Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe.